हेलो नमस्ते एवरीवन होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर वेल दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर सेवन ऑफ हाइड्रोजन चैप्टर क्लास इलेवन केमिस्ट्री इन दिस टॉपिक वी आर स्पेशली गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द हैवी वर्ड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट अस रिवाइज द व्हाट वी हैव स्टडीड इन द प्रीवियस सिक्स लेक्चर्स इन द फर्स्ट लेक्चर आई हैव इन्फॉर्म यू अबाउट द पोजीशन एंड द अकरेंस ऑफ हाइड्रोजन इन द लेक्चर नंबर टू आई हैव इन्फॉर्म यू अबाउट द प्रिपरेशन physical chemical properties and uses of dihydrogen in the third lecture i informed you about the hydrides in the fourth lecture i hydrides and its types like uh, i informed you about the covalent hydrides metallic hydrides right so i have informed you about these all the things in the lecture number 3 in lecture number 4 i have informed you about water In the lecture number five, I have informed you about hardness, temporary and permanent of water. In lecture number six, I have informed you about the preparation, physical, chemical properties and uses of dihydrogen. And this is our seventh lecture in which we are going to discuss about the heavy water. First of all, what is heavy water? It is a deuterium oxide. You can say just like that when the oxygen reacts with deuterium. it is also a hydrogen may your student confuse so what is this d d means here you have to understand that it is here molecular mass of hydrogen 2 that's called deuterium remember the word deuterium so deuterium oxide is also known as heavy water h2o is normal water and deuterium oxide is a heavy water many of student have a question in mind so what is this deuterium oxide how it is prepared so here i have written on the board you can see here deuterium oxide is an extensively used as a moderator extensively used as a moderator in nuclear reactors and it is also used in exchange of the reaction mechanism you can say it is a study of exchange reaction mechanism you can see here when the question comes sir how it is prepared what are the preparation method of deuterium oxide Then you can see on the board I have written at the last. It is prepared by the electrolysis of water, and it is also being prepared by the byproduct in some of the fertilizer industries. So, dear student, no need to worry about the deuterium oxide. Its general name is heavy water. It is prepared by the electrolysis of water or as a byproduct in fertilizer industries. now what are the physical properties as we all know about the physical properties as we have studied about the water also we have studied about hydrogen peroxide also we have studied about dihydrogen also similarly we will study about heavy water physical properties so you can see here the physical properties of dihydrogen molecular mass since you can see here its atomic mass is 2 so when you will calculate d2o oxygen molecular mass 16 And this two plus two four sixteen plus four twenty. So molecular mass of deuterium oxide is twenty gram per mole. If we talk about the melting point of deuterium oxide, it is slightly greater than water. Melting point of water is two seventy three. Here is two seventy six point eight Kelvin. Boiling point of water is three seventy three. It's three hundred seventy four point four Kelvin. If I talk about the enthalpy of formation, what is the enthalpy of formation? You know very well. If you don't know, then just go in the lecture number three, videos of chapter three. Enthalpy of formation is minus two hundred and ninety-four point six kilojoule per mole. Enthalpy of vaporization forty-one point six kilojoule per mole. Temperature of maximum density that is two hundred and eighty-four point two Kelvin. Density is one point one zero five. We talk about the comparison of water and deuterium. So water density is one, and here deuterium is one point one zero five gram per centimeter cube. Viscosity of deuterium oxide is one point one zero seven. If I talk about the dielectric constant, it is seventy eight point zero six per c square newton meter square, and electrical conductivity is zero. So these are the physical properties. As we have discussed about the water, we can compare the physical properties of water also, and we can compare the physical properties of heavy water also. D two O is generally known as heavy water this is the last lecture of this chapter so no need to worry no need to hurry remember each and everything perfectly in your mind 
So this was physical property. As I have informed you how it is prepared, it is prepared as a byproduct of fertilizers. Byproduct of fertilizers. When fertilizers is prepared, so at that time this DTO is used as a byproduct. When it is coming not a main product, but when we talk about the preparation, then we can say that it is prepared by the electrolyzer of water or as a byproduct of fertilizer industry. Second, what are the chemical properties of water? Chemical properties, as you know very well, chemical properties means reaction. So here you can see calcium carbide reacts with deuterium oxide. This is H2O. See here, D2O means deuterium oxide. No need to worry, sir, what is DD? So much no, H here, it is atomic mass 2 here. So what will happen when calcium carbide will react with D2O? It will give you carbon detrived and calcium hydroxide ye OH ki tarah hi hai isliye calcium hydroxide hi kahenge lekin since hum log isko deuterium bolte hai to calcium detrived hydroxide ko jo detrived hai usi tarah se so 3 ko jab hum D2O ke sath reaction karenge then it will get sulfuric acid that is H2SO4 right similarly D2SO4 to D ka matlab hydrogen jiska atomic mass 2 उसके बाद अगर हम एल्युमिनियम कार्बाइड को डिट्रियम ऑक्साइड के साथ रिएक्शन करेंगे तो हमें क्या मिलेगा कार्बन डिट्राइड प्लस एल्युमिनियम हाइड्रोक्साइड जैसे बोलते हैं उसी तरह एल्युमिनियम डिट्रॉक्साइड में मिलेगा तो ये केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज है जिसमें हम देखते हैं कि जनरली किस तरह से ये रिएक्शंस करते हैं सो वी नो वी शुड नो दीस ऑल द थिंग्स इन आवर नोटबुक बिकॉज़ इट्स द सेवेंथ लेक्चर सो इन द सेवेंथ लेक्चर यू शुड नोट दिस थिंग दैट व्हाट व्हाट थिंग्स वी हैव स्टडी because I have gone each and every topic, topic wise of this chapter. Means first I have taken hydrogen and similarly till the seventh topic that is heavy water. Now question is, sir, what are the uses of this? You can ask me, sir, is the uses chapter. So dihydrogen is used as a fuel. Now which type of fuel you can ask me? So dihydrogen releases large quantities of heat on combustion. When you react with oxygen, then it releases large quantities of heat on combustion and the data on energy released by combustion of fuels like dihydrogen, methane, LPG, etc. So remember dear student, when we compare both this water and deuterium oxide, then you should go through the physical properties of it. So deuterium oxide is also used as a Energy, released of energy, when it is burned, it gives a large amount of energy and when it is released, when, if I talk about when it is released, it is released by the combustion of hydrogen, it is released by when it is burned with the methane, it is released by when it is burned with the LPG gases. So these are the few uses. Now, you have seen the physical properties of this deuterium oxide, right? So mass, volume, density, melting point, boiling point, each and everything as we have seen. Moreover, pollutants in combustion of dihydrogen will be less than petrol. If I talk about dihydrogen as a fuel, so if we use dihydrogen in comparison to petrol, then dihydrogen will give less pollution in comparison to petrol. The only pollutants will be the oxides of dihydrogen due to the presence of dihydrogen impurity with the dihydrogen. This is of course can be minimized by the injecting a small amount of water into a cylinder to lower the temperature so that the reaction between the dihydrogen and dinitrogen may reaction not take place. However, the mass of containers in which the dihydrogen will be kept must be taken into consideration. A cylinder of Compressed dihydrogen weights should be about 30 times as much as a tank of petrol containing the same amount of energy also dihydrogen gas is converted into liquid steamed by cooling on tanks. The tanks of metal alloy like sodium, nickel, titanium hydrides or magnesium hydrides. So dear student, first of all, see, it can be also used as a fuel. You know very well, water is also used as a fuel, right? Similarly, this deuterium oxide can be also used as a fuel. When you compare this both, 
then there will be a huge difference between the petrol and lithium oxide. If we compare about the pollutions, if we compare about the tanks, the tank should be large. The metal which should be used in the tank should be not uh, general metal, it should be used as a nickel or it should be used as a titanium or it should be used as a magnesium. The rest of the thing, if I talk about in the storage of dihydrogen in small quantities, these limitations have prompted research to search for the alternative techniques to use dihydrogen is an efficiency view. So this was the view of H2O as D2O, means deuterium oxide you can see. So no need to worry about that. Now if I talk about the dihydrogen as an economy, in the view of dihydrogen or you can say D2, hydrogen economy is an alternative. The basic principle of hydrogen economy is the transportation and the storage of energy in the form of liquid or gases. Dihydrogen. If I talk about the advantages of hydrogen economy and dihydrogen, is that the energy is transmitted in the form of dihydrogen and not as an electric power. It is for the project using dihydrogen fuel was launched in October 2005 for running automobiles. Initially, 5% dihydrogen has been mixed in the CNG for use in four-wheeler vehicles. The percentage of dihydrogen would be gradually increased to reach the optimum level. Nowadays, it is also used in fuel cells for generation for generation of electric power. It is expected that economically value and safe sources of dihydrogen will be identified in the years of to come. It is used as a common source of energy. So, dear student, generally, why we study this deuterium oxide or water? Some questions are really important from this topic, which should be used in our daily life. As you know very well, before 2020 or till the March of 2020, the whole globe was suffering from pollution. But because of the lockdowns, as we have seen, the pollution rate has been decreased and the globe is now safe. As you know very well, our ozone layer was distracted. It was having a hole in the ozone layers. But because of the less pollution in this year, these layers has not been distracted and they have been covered. So now question is, what should we do for this? How to minimize the pollution? You know very well, I don't think that in the city or if I talk about the towns, each and every house has more than two or three vehicles. At least two vehicles each and every house has. So just compare that these two vehicles generate how much amount of pollutions in the whole atmosphere. Just compare. And you know the number of population present in the globe. So trillions of trillions, if I talk about the volume, trillions of trillion pollutions are daily affected to the globe. So definitely if this type of pollution will reach to the globe, then this ozone layer will be distracted, then all the harmful rays will directly come to the earth and we will be affected by some of the rays, cancer rays, some of the means if directly the rays will come and it will make a hole in our whole body and it will be transparent and we will die definitely. So to minimize these all we are using this type of fuels as water is being used to generate electricity also, electric power, you know very well how water can generate electric power. So as we have seen this type of question, now let's go towards that which type of question will be asked in the exam related to this topic, right? So dear student, let me check some of the questions related to this topic. Yeah, very nice question is that. I hope all of you know also about that. See, generally, if we compare, then only and only chemical reactions related questions will be asked. 
what will be the product so remember this whole chemical reaction balance and the product should be reminded generally d2 means hydrogen 1 and atomic mass 2 so generally chemical reaction related questions and rest none of the question going to be asked from this heavy water topic so this was our last topic of this hydrogen chapter in the next topic we will solve ncrt numericals if you have solved and it's okay in the next video as i will prefer you that what are the numericals so you can go through that numericals that's all for today if you are having any doubt related that lecture number one to lecture number seven then can then you can drop your doubt into the comment box section sir we are not able to understand or i am not able to understand this topic please elaborate once more time please make video one more time in the next video i am going to tell you about all the numericals of this hydrogen chapter that's all for today thank you thank you very much don't forget to like and subscribe the channel share this video with your friends so they can be also benefited thank you thank you very much